Mobile Gamers. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the best Soul Linker for Templar and the best build for Templar. Talking about the skills, what skills you should have for your Templar. I have a PvP build and I have a PvE build for you. Uh, but before we get started, as always, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. We are trying to reach a thousand subscribers before my birthday on November 18th. We have five more days and we're almost at 400 subscribers, so we still got a bit ways to go. So share these videos with all your guild mates, all your friends that play the game. Let them know we're trying to reach a thousand. We got five days left. Uh, one thing I have to address, our uh, guild leader for the guild that I'm in, uh, we had a discord and everything. He just kind of like up and left and disappeared. He shut down the discord he shut everything down no problem i made a new discord for us so if you are in my guild legion and you're watching this video we have a new discord the link is down below and if you are not a part of my guild but you just want to interact with me and all all the other people in my guild and just a nice little community of people who like this game and want to talk about this game and have fun then join the guild and come on over have fun everyone is welcome now let's jump into this video all right so for the templar build all right so i am a templar out of the three categories we have attack we have defense and we have uh support i personally think that the attack area attack type soul linker is the best that's what we're going to be looking at for our templar so i have a few different ones that you can go through i didn't want to just pick one because again not everyone is going to have the legendary one or the heroic one so I went ahead and I picked uh, one or two from the rare category and then one from the heroic and then one from the legendary just to make it even out so you have options. For the rare attack soul linker, if you are playing Templar, I like girl right here, small fox witch titarian, tearing, I, I can't say names. This girl who looks like a witch. I really like her for Templar soul linker. Very, very good attack. She has an amazing ultimate ability. Ignite a large amount of energy, deals damage equal to 669%. I mean, it's tons of AoE damage, which we love. As a, as a Templar, you love AoE damage. You always have all the enemies grouped up, right? You have special abilities that let you kind of like push them and pull them all together. And you want to just have everyone gathered up, which the Templar is very good at. The Templar has very good CC, but it lacks damage. So that's where our Soul Linker comes in. We want to get a Soul Linker that just does massive damage. So we bring all the enemies together and then our Soul Linker, bam, drops our huge AOE damage. And we get that four second stun, which is also great. Now, one thing that is important to mention is the common skill. They're actually random. They have five different options. Now, these are completely random, right? So you might want to try and get your perfect build. Uh, so some of the ones that I suggest, some of the ones that I like is the tornado one right here. Collect enemies to a single location. Again, we're gathering everyone up in one location. We deal damage equal to 171.6% every second for four seconds. So this one right here, this tornado, this is good passive damage, damage over time. So if you're looking for that, this is pretty good. Other one though that I suggest if you're looking for more, uh, this one, if you're looking for more burst damage, then I suggest the Nova one. I like the Nova one calls down lightning and then it just does damage equal to 362.8% of the Soul Inker's attack. So I like those two. So I would try if you can either the tornado one I like where I also like the Nova one. All right, let's check out the Heroic. For the Heroic, I have uh, this little guy, the Sword of Protector Sen, this little rat-looking guy. This guy's pretty mean. He's actually pretty insane with the Templar because of his ultimate. He is super, super attack-heavy. I mean, he goes crazy with attack power. His ultimate right here, increase the Soul Inker's attack by 65.2% for 30 seconds, but decrease defense unstoppable during cast as a templar the decrease in defense is fine because our whole main focus is that we want to protect our soul linker because we are the tank um if you're playing a different type it might be different but because we're a, a templar and we're tank we can get away with uh reducing our soul linkers defense to sacrifice it for attack right because our, our main focus is uh, we're gonna be ccing them crowd controlling them stunning them pulling them doing all kinds of manipulations to the enemies. 
so that our little rat guy right here, he can just, you know, not worry about his defense, buff his attack, and just go ham on him. So this guy's really, really good for Templars. If you can get him, he will help you out so much. Um, some common ones that I suggest. This one right here, take this. Gather energy to deal damage equal to 375.8%. Again, this is just raw good damage. I like this. And this other one I like is slam and again. So it just slams forward two times, deals damage. 372 this is another great one so i like these two these first two ones all right and then for the legendaries i like this guy the proud marine rein rein and rein and whatever unleash a large scale bombardment and deal damage equal to 772 percent of the soul inker's attack and burn damage i love this this is huge massive damage aoe damage huge and just massive seven almost 800 percent damage is crazy and he does burn damage which is insane like i said you want if you want to go like the passive way that could be better because again we are a templar so we can survive a lot the whole idea of the templar is and you'll even see this with like a lot of the uh, templar abilities that we're going to go over shortly we don't really have burst damage we're more it, it kind of helps more if we go like the passive way because we have so, I should say, like sustained damage. Uh, frontal fire. Fire barrage and deal damage equal to almost 382.8% of Solinger's attack. This is great burst damage. Uh, but if you want to go the more passive way, the more sustained damage, then I would pick the air burst fire. This one, again, this one's great for just burn damage. I mean, you, you could build a really good uh, Ronin guy right here. If you can get the air burst fire which does burn damage along with his ultimate that does burn damage that's a really good one that's my dream if i could get this character to have the air burst fire oh my gosh that would be amazing i love this first one that i'm going to go over is a little bit more uh, pve player versus everything you know when you're just kind of farming and stuff so our first one this is a must have right here this first ability this one's definitely uh, worth investing in. This is, we're gonna use this in like every build. So even if you're doing like a PVP build, a PVE build, no matter what, this one you can heavily invest in, this rallying cry. So increase caster and soul linkers attack by 3,400. Of course, it's gonna depend on the level for 15 seconds and increase allied attack. So all your allies around you uh, increase their attack. This one, invest in this one. I don't care whatever this one right here you're gonna use this no matter what if you're doing pvp pve bosses whatever this is such a good ability jack this one up all the way invest heavy and rally and cry it is a great ability you need to be using this it's going to help out so much with damage that's our problem is damage as a templar but we use this ability it can help us out so much um the next one i like is this three-headed one right here heavenly troops uh, movement x large i love this one on hit it does a ton of damage and we're unstoppable during the cast your character just kind of runs around and just pushes the enemies again this is great for just disrupting people just moving them around like that's what we want to do we just want to bully people so this is good aoe damage too i like that one uh next one we have is uh punisher's domain uh, on hit, a certain amount of damage. Create an area for 20 seconds, and we damage per second enemies in the area. That's great. I love that. And we increase ally attack damage. So again, we're increasing our, our allies around us if we're in a party. Again, this is a nice party skill. I like this one. Um, next up, we have his honorable hero right here. Three skill hit. Movement is large. Just a bunch of raw damage, and it makes us unstoppable during cast, which I love. Uh, I'm very favored toward the unstoppable uh, thing like we don't want to have any of our abilities get disrupted so we want to focus on like being unstoppable during our cast time because we don't we don't want to get stopped um, next up we have this one the shield right here uh, luminous vanguard movement large first hit just is just raw damage decrease their accuracy by 198 for 10 seconds and we interrupt on hit again unstoppable during cast you see the trend here a lot of these things we want to pick that are unstoppable so that we cannot have our ability stopped at all which is very very important next up we have the sword right here judgment movement large again first hit damage second hit damage and a interrupt on hit again we're going to be stopping our opponent just like our last ability interrupting them 
Lots of CC, I'm telling you, we're just interrupting people and then we can't be stopped. Next up, we're looking at this little trap right there, Guardian's Domain. Uh, this is another one that I love. Create an area for 20 seconds, damage per second to enemies in the area. Decrease damage done to allies a certain amount of percentage. I like this one. Again, we're just putting a certain area to hold them down. We're trapping them in an area and doing damage over time. This is very good if you uh, like stun them, right? We stun them for three seconds or whatever. We, we put a stun off on them and we drop this on there because they're stunned and they're not moving. They're just, they can't get out of that circle and they just keep taking damage. Like I said, a lot of these is like damage over time, right? We want to keep them in areas and just keep just beating them down because we have so much hp and defense we personally it's hard for us to get like bursted down because we have just have so much defense uh next up we're going to look at the hammer of purification this one right here three hit skill movement is very large um third hit again we're going to interrupt on hit again i like this one we're just interrupting them super important i like this one um, there's a few that I haven't unlocked yet. I'm just going to briefly mention some other ones that I like. I really like this one, this uh, level 80 one. This one is super good, right, for nearby allies. Um, apply debuff immunity and heals. So I really like the heal and the debuff immunity. I'm not quite sure which one I would switch it out with, but I think this one is a must have i would definitely invest in this one once you reach level 80 you're going to use this for pve and pvp so this skill right here is good overall for everything um unyielding unit this one is also pretty decent i like this one also again i haven't had that one unlocked but i'm kind of like i kind of like this build right now i haven't you know what i mean we'll have to test it out and maybe we'll do like an update later on but this is what i like so far um, right here we have Righteous Assault. Again, this is just two hit skill, medium, uh, interrupt on hit. Uh, what is this one? We have the, oh, this one. This is the other one that I wanted to mention. I really like this one. This one's super good for PvP. What I like is the silence. Silence for three seconds on hit. This is super huge and important. This helps out a tremendous amount. Go briefly over here to number four. This is like a PvP uh, build. A lot of them are the same. Well, not all, a lot of them, but similar, the same. And you're going to notice uh, our strategy for PvP is going to be more defensive because we have uh, our, our team. This is if we have like our guilds with us, you know, and I have, we have other attackers. So we don't need to focus so much on on attacking this build right here this is more to play defensive we're going to have the abilities that where is it this confinement where we're going to interrupt and pull on hit so again we're going to pull them and interrupt them we want to manipulate the opponent while our teammates are attacking this one right here ironclad this one is uh, good for pvp increase your defense by a certain amount for 20 seconds and you reflect the damage taken unstoppable during dur uh, duration Again, this is good for PvP when you have your teammates, your other guild members who are going to be doing the damage and you're just going to tank. This is like a straight tank build. If you want to go like the tank build, the ironclad one is, uh, is really good. The bind one is really good. Bind for five seconds. This is really, really good. Uh, again, in PvP, uh, this the stun one is really good. Stun for three seconds and invincible during cast. Again, we want to stun our opponent. So again, we have the, the two stuns. We're just going to stun the hell out of people. The blessed gladiator. This one is really good for PvP. We do a, a bunch of damage and we taunt for three seconds. Again, we want the focus fire to be on us while our teammates stay in the back and just do tons of damage so i hope this helped out a little bit again i didn't want to make the video too long but i wanted to just talk about some different builds for the templar hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see y'all in the next video peace